Welcome to the Everymaker. My name is Nick and today we're playing with electricity. Now we're probably not gonna be sending a lot of sparks flying today, but what we are gonna do is etch this stainless steel mug. This is a travel mug and I would love to have my logo right in the middle of it. So that's what we're gonna do. But first, I wanna do some testing. So I went out and I bought this stainless steel push plate for a door. This is gonna be perfect to test with because I can mask off, do all the different kinds of tests that I wanna do. So let's jump into it. The process we're gonna to use today is called electro etching. It's a metal etching process using an electrolyte solution and some electricity to dissolve the metal using just household items. I've seen this done many different ways, but I've never done it before myself. So I'm gonna test a lot of the different processes to see which one is gonna work best for me. We start with a solution of kosher salt and water mixed thoroughly. The salt makes the water electrically conductive, allowing the current to flow from positive to negative. All this process takes is a couple of nine volt batteries connected together, then connected to some copper wire using my super fancy battery connectors. The positive wire connects to a plate I'm etching, and the negative to a pair of insulated pliers. The first test is with a cotton swab, wrapped completely around the pliers and dipped in the solution. Then slowly swipe the cotton across the plate. This will actually dissolve the metal, which turns the cotton black. Next, I'm gonna try a Q-tip. As soon as the tip goes black, I flip the sides and keep going. I noticed the process slowing down though, so I tested the batteries with a multimeter. Now the batteries are working pretty well, but I don't have enough juice in them to do the project that I wanna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to this, which is just an old power adapter for something that I no longer have, uh, but you know, I keep all these. This is five volts, two amps, so we're gonna test this and see how it works. I clipped off the end of the power adapter, stripped down the wires, and connected them to the wires I was using earlier on the batteries. A couple of wire nuts made wiring this very, very easy. And then it was time to plug it in and test. The process went way faster with the power adapter and also came out much, much cleaner, leaving a really nice depth to the etch. I was gonna do more testing, but this worked. I printed off my logo and using some spray adhesive, stuck it to some inexpensive contact paper. You wanna make sure to leave enough of an edge when you cut it out to cover whatever surface you're etching, in this case, my mug. Using a straight edge and a very sharp X-Acto knife, I cut out my logo, but you could also use pre-cut stencils or stickers or something, as long as they stick down to your surface without leaving any gaps. Now the hardest part, putting on the stencil. I should have put some transfer paper down on top of my stencil before sticking it down to the mug and then carefully peeling that off the stencil, but this still worked. I went through about three or four cotton swabs during this process, and it took about 20 minutes or so. But all in all, this was pretty quick and really easy to do. And then the big reveal. This is where you finally get to tell if you etched deep enough. I used some acetone to clean up the surface, and then some steel wool in the direction of the stainless steel scratch patterns to buff out that etch a little bit. And then it was all done. Just like that, I have a travel mug with my logo in it. A stainless steel mug with my logo etched right into the mug. I'm super happy with the way this came out. This was a, such a fun project to do. I hand cut the stencil so it's not perfect. If you have access to a vinyl cutter, 
Uh, you could definitely get a cleaner stencil on that, but I'm still very happy with how easy this was. If you're not comfortable with using the electricity, you may want to stick to the batteries because that's a little bit safer. You can also wear rubber gloves um, and just make sure that you're comfortable and feel safe. Really, it was super easy and if I can do it. Definitely you guys can as well. If you like this video, hit that like button for me and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this project. Also let me know what projects have uh, you kind of been holding back because you thought they were just outside of reach and thought, eh, I don't know if I can do this. Pretty much all of my projects feel that way. So every time I get into the shop, I learn something new and you shouldn't be afraid to get out into the shop and try to do something that you've never done before. Hit subscribe because I've got tons more coming and uh, yeah, I just went through my list of projects and planned them out for the rest of the year. So it's gonna be a busy year and it's gonna be so much fun. So I hope you guys stick around and I'll see you guys again real soon.